Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to part three of my nude lip product inventory swatching kind of thing. So <laughs> everything in this bag is lipsticks, like lipstick bullets or like, I don't know, like this um, ColourPop Hello Kitty thing. It's a tinted lip balm, I believe. I can't remember what these are called, but I think it's a tinted lip balm, but it's very pigmented, so I include it in my lipstick category. So we'll just see what's in here. There's different tones like pink nudes, beige, brown, all that. So let's just get into this. Um, I'm going to move this aside so that there isn't any focusing issues and no cat hair <laughs> around. So this first one that I am pulling is a MAC lipstick in the shade Mer, I think, M-E-H-R. This is more like a mauve or rosy tone lipstick, but I have it with my nudes. Maybe, yeah, it probably should be <laughs> with my pink tone lipsticks, but it looks like this. I'm not getting rid of that. I really like my MAC lipsticks, so yeah. This is a Kaja Air Heart in the shade Sprung. Oh, that is very similar, <laughs> actually. Maybe less purpley undertone. Um, and it's a different formula. These are like very velvety kind of texture. Um, yeah, that's really pretty though. This is my Vive lipstick in the shade 9 Tees, like this, 9 Tees. Um, unfortunately it arrived broken, but I managed to like get it back in there. So I'm going to be really gentle with this one. This is like a brown nude and I love it, so I'm keeping that. And I love this packaging. It looks very luxurious. This is a ABH mini lipstick, a matte lipstick in the shade Kiss. I got these in like a set of four, a set of four. So that's just a nice like pink nude. They were all kind of like pink toned lipsticks. Um, I think, yeah, that's the only one that was a nude. The rest will be in my pink lip product video. This is the one I just showed before, the ColourPop Hello Kitty in the shade Fun in the Sun. So these I got in a three pack smells amazing and it's beautiful. It's like a peachy nude. This is another mini lipstick from YSL in the shade 70. I think this is called Le Nu, like it's their basic nude shade that's really popular and I love it. So keeping that one. This is from Urban Decay, but it was the um, Kristen Leanne collab. The shade is called Bun Bun, and I love this lipstick. It's a nice brown nude. It looks like this. Love it. And these are the Comfort Matte. This is the Comfort Matte formula, which I really like. I have another one. This one in the shade 1993. So if you couldn't tell, I like these 90s brown nude shades. It's actually quite similar to Bun Bun, but it's deeper and even more brown undertone. Definitely keeping that one. Um, now I have some Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. This one is the shade Bond Girl. Looks like that. 
it's kind of like mer or mare, but it's more sheer if you can see. This is her, um, oh, I thought it was going to say on the bottom. I don't know what formula this is, but it's very sheer if you can tell. I also have this shade Pillow Talk, of course. So this one's more of a nude shade. And I have this shade Very Victoria. These are all very similar. <laughs> That's Very Victoria. I mean, yeah. I have one more Charlotte Tilbury. This, um, this is a different formula, I think. It's Hot Lips or something. These were the ones named after, like, celebrities. And this one was named after J.K. Rowling, so she's <laughs> been cancelled. But I used to love this lipstick because of Harry Potter and also because of the packaging which has like moons and stars on it. I don't know how to show you this. Yeah, you can see there. And the shade is a very nice nude shade. Oh, see yeah, these are so much creamier and like more opaque than the other formula. I think I like this better. It's a nice like peachy nude. Um, I'm already running out of space. <laughs> uh, this is a NYX butter lipstick. I don't know if they still make these. This is the shade Snow Cap. Yeah. This is one of the first like drugstore lipsticks I ever bought. And it was because of Makeup by Cheryl. It's a very light nude. I would probably need to wear this with a lip liner. Uh, but it's very, really nice and creamy and like a comfortable formula. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, oh, here's another NYX. But this is the Pin Up Pout formula. This is the shade Corset. That's a really nice nude. This is more like... Well, it's not matte, but it's not as like creamy as the butter lipstick. This is a Tarte Mini um, Color Splash lipstick in the shade Beach Babe. Very Another very light nude, but I really like this formula. It's very nice and creamy and pigmented. And in my shop, my stash, I have another one. Um, this one in the shade Rum Punch. I love this one. This one's more brown. Well, it's very similar though, <laughs> but it's more brown. And I have a full size with the special packaging. I liter literally bought this for the packaging because <laughs> the shade is not normally a shade I would like pick amongst other shades um but let's see it's a very light nude very peachy nude this one here but i just love the little turtle on it do i have any more of those i don't think so no um this one is the newest lip product well, the newest lipstick kind of product in my collection. It's the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in the shade Bronze Glow. I love this. Let's see if I can swatch it. So these are very creamy and like the kind of like click up that you can't roll back down. So... Yeah, very pretty. Love this product. I'm wearing this in my most recent testing new makeup video if you want to see that. Um, and I'll swatch these Tarte ones now because I feel like they're the same product. 
these Tarte um, Maracuya Juicy Lips. I know they just came out with new ones, like a whole new line of these, but I have the holiday set ones. So this one's called Buttered Rum. These ones you actually like click by like pressing the bottom and you don't want to get too much because then it can be a total mess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like I haven't read the ingredients but I feel like it's the exact same thing. <laughs> so that's the Tarte one in the shade Buttered Rum. I guess it's more of like pink than bronze. Um, but I... I have also the shade Holiday Spritz. Oh, I've never used this one, it seems. It's a nice pink nude. Yeah, that's even lighter. Nice pink one. And the last one I have is more bright. Mary Martini. I might as well just swatch it now. I've worn this one before. And this one has glitter in it, so... It's even more similar to the Makeup by Mario. But yeah, it's more pink, as you can see there. I just love this formula. It looks really nice on the lips, especially for my, <laughs> if you're more mature, you have lines in your lips. It makes them look really nice and smooth without having that super like stingy plumping formula. So I really like those. Okay, I had to remove the swatches because it was getting to be a lot. <laughs> oh, I did have another... I did have another ABH Mini. This is the shade Spice. These are very, like, matte and, like, they tug, but they're really nice on the lips. Spice. Um, another mini, this is from KVD, it's the Studded Kiss, Studded Kiss Cream Lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. I don't know if they still make these, but it's a really nice, like, mauve nude. I have another mini. A lot of my lipsticks are mini, so. This is from Hourglass. I think these were called, I don't remember. It All it says on the back is girl, so I don't know. But it's like a lip pencil, a lip crayon type thing. This is the shade Influencer. This is a lovely nude. Um, this is a kind of nude that I really like. And I also have another one of these that is extremely similar actually. Um, it's in a different packaging. I don't know if that means anything. It's like a different color. This one is in the shade Futurist. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know, like, is, I guess this one's more peachy and this one's more pink. Um, this is a MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick in the shade Smoked Almond. I don't think they make these anymore, but I really like them. They're very pigmented. Very nice. Um, this is a Pat McGrath. Lux Trans Lipstick in the shade Donatella. I think this is my only full size Pat McGrath lipstick and I haven't even swatched it yet. As you can see, it looks beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm gonna love that one. It's this here. So I'll swatch my mini ones now. I have, um, Flesh 3. I don't know if it's the same formula. It, this one only says lipstick on the back. I don't know if it's a luxe trance. Oh, that's actually very dark. <laughs> um, 
yeah, that's not a nude. Probably should have been in my red lipstick video. But I couldn't really tell because if you can see, the bullet is weird. It has like a wax buildup around it. That's been happening with like a few of my high-end lip products I've noticed. But it doesn't seem to like be causing a formula issue or anything. And it doesn't smell bad, so... But yeah, that is clearly not a nude for my skin tone. Um, this one is in the shade 1995. <laughs> and I forgot that this one is broken, but I love it. I don't know if it's salvageable. Yeah, if I'm very careful. It's this one here. It's actually kind of similar to this one. Well, it's more brown, I guess. And I have one more. This one in the shade Omi. That's more like a mauve tone. I'm keeping all those. I have two from Melt. This is an ultra matte lipstick in the shade 710. This is a very interesting shade. I haven't used it yet, but I really would like to. It's like a mustardy brown. This is more like a fall lipstick though. And the other one I have is a matte lipstick in the shade Old Rose. This is a nice one, I believe. Yeah, that's a nice mauve nude shade. This one said ultra matte and this one just said matte, so I guess they're different formulas. Um, so this one is from Physician's Formula. It's a Muru Muru. I don't know how to say that word. Um, Muru Muru Butter in the shade Pop the Bubbly. This came in the Physician's Formula Casey Holmes collab set and it's beautiful. It's almost like metallic, but because it's so creamy, I feel like you can get away with it and it looks more like shiny on the lips. Um, yeah, I really like this. It's very, very creamy though. It almost like should not be in this packaging because it's kind of like the Tarte and the Makeup by Mario formula where it's like almost a lip gloss in a tube. Oh, I have another from Physicians Formula before that one. This is actually an Organic Wear Tinted Lip Treatment. This is also the same kind of formula that's like almost too glossy to be in this packaging. Like it's even like melting in here. But I remember loving this. This is the shade Ginger Snap. It Look how pigmented that is. This is supposed to be a tinted lip treatment. <laughs> it's more pigmented than like these lipsticks on my hand. So I'm keeping that. Um, okay, so this one is from Wet n Wild. As you can see, I guess they were trying to like dupe Pat McGrath with the packaging at least. But actually this is like one of, if not the best lipstick in my collection, which is saying a lot because it's only like five dollars. Um, it's the what were these called? I don't remember, but the white packaging ones are like the creamy ones, and the ones in the black were like the matte ones. I remember, but this is the shade Close Off, and I love it. This is probably one of my favorite nudes. So it's kind of pinky, but also kind of brown. It's just like neutral, I guess. So I really like that one. It goes with like any look, basically. Um, this one is from Becca. It's the Love Lipstick. Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sugar. This is very, very light on me. I always have to wear it with a deeper lip liner or else it's like too light. 
looks like that. Another like pinky nude, I guess. Here's another drugstore one. This is from Rimmel. It's the matte lipstick in the shade Trendsetter. I got this from Influencer, I remember, and I really liked it and I brought it with me on a vacation and it was the only lipstick that I wore. It's very matte, but it it's comfortable on the lips and it's a really nice like my lips but better kind of shade. So keeping that one. That was it for my drugstore ones. So this one is a mini from Laura Mercier. It's a velour lovers lip color in the shade in the shade <laughs> sensual. Oh, that's very light. So yeah, actually the Becca it looks more cool tone now next to this. This is more like pinky peach. I also have a lip crayon. This is from Bite Beauty. It's a matte cream lip crayon in the shade Glacé. I think I really like this. It's actually quite deep. Um, looks deeper in a swatch than it does on in the bullet, but I remember I really liked that the last time I used it. Now I have like a lot more from Bite. The this is a Amuse Bouche lipstick in the shade Chai. Ooh. This actually looks deep, not a nude whatsoever, <laughs> but it's that one here. Very similar to whatever that was. I don't remember now. I'll have to check when I edit, but it looks a lot like this one. Um, I have another mini in the shade Honeycomb. This one I really like. It's a very like neutral nude. This one here, definitely keeping that one. And I'm running out of space. This is another mini from Bite, but this is a multi-stick in the shade Brioche. Oh, these are getting very dry, um, these multi-sticks, but I do like the shade of that. It's like a brown, a deeper brown nude. I say that because I have another one, I have a full-size one in my shop, my stash, and it feels quite dry. But now I'm like, maybe that's just the formula. Because these are meant to be used, like, you can use it as blush or as eyeshadow even. Um, this one is the one in my shop, my stash, which is more of a pink, so I'm not including it in this video. <laughs> oh, speaking of my shop, my stash, I had my Rare Beauty, um, dewy lip balm in the shade Thankful. I wasn't sure if I liked this, but the last time I wore it, I did really like it, so I'm going to keep it. And it's super creamy, as you can see. It's just so pigmented that I wouldn't use this as a lip balm. I would use it as a lipstick. So that's why it's in my lipstick category in my inventory. But yeah, I really like that actually. This one is a Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Cream in the shade C2W. No, C211, I think. This is more like a rosy tone, but let's see. Oh yeah, that's not a nude. <laughs> it's quite deep actually. Another mini, this one from Too Faced. This um, is called Sex on the Peach. It was those lipsticks that had like peach embossing. It smells delicious and I love this one. It's a more cool tone brown. Love it. Oh, I actually have a full size of the same, not the same shade, but the same, you know, lipstick type. 
This is the shade Sunday Fun Day, and I love it. There is not a lot of product in these, though, if you can tell. Still smells wonderful. See, this one is lighter than Sex on the Peach. I have this little mini from NARS. I didn't even know I had this until I pulled it out for this video. It's actually a lipstick in the shade Orgasm. So I have like everything Orgasm. I have the blush, I have the lip gloss. I have a lot of things. <laughs> oh, so this is like really sheer and sparkly. That could be pretty. I do really love the Orgasm lip gloss. So technically I should also love this, but it's just in a bullet form and not as glossy, of course. Um, here's my last little mini. This is from Marc Jacobs. It's a Lamarck lip cream in the shade Slow Burn. It's more mauve tone here. That does feel really creamy, but it's very similar to this one and this one. <laughs> yeah, and this one. So nothing really unique to my collection. Um, this is from Milk Makeup. I think this is like another, is this a lipstick or a lip tinted? Or like a tinted lip balm, I don't remember. But it's the shade Deuces. I clearly haven't even touched this once and nor swatched it, so here's the first swatch ever. Oh, that's actually a lot deeper than I thought it would be. That's like a nice rosy tone. Nice packaging on these. Here's a full size amuse bouche lipstick in the shade Porcini. So I wanted to swatch this next to the melt one because, oh, okay, so it's here. This is Porcini and that was the melt one. So they are different. The melt one is more orangey undertone and this one is definitely brown. So I'm very excited to wear that on my lips in the fall. Hopefully it looks good on me. Um, and my last one is a tinted lip balm. But again, it's like the Rare Beauty. It's just like so pigmented and like thick that I would wear it as a lipstick. It's from Sol de Janeiro or Sol de Janeiro. It's the shade Keep It Rio. This is very thick and buttery. <laughs> What, were, what are these called? I think there's something butter in the name, but I don't see a name anywhere. But it's like extremely thick. Actually, it is quite sheer now that I look at it. So maybe it should have been in my lip balms, but it's this here. It's a very subtle tint of nude. It smells very like shea buttery. So that was everything. My bag is empty now. Um, so I didn't get rid of anything in this category, but that's okay. I'm still, you know, getting familiar with what undertones I like the best, what formulas I prefer. So I'll hopefully get more use out of these in the coming months. Because looking at this, there's not like one that I'm like, oh no, that's going to look bad. So I need to test them out, I think. But I hope you liked this video. I feel like I missed some things. Oh, I see two right here. Is this? No, that's deep. I actually see one or two here in my little spinny thing. I have this from ColourPop Animal Crossing collab. Um, it's a lip crayon in the shade Incomparable, like pear. 
and it smells like pear and I love it so much. This one here, love that for me. <laughs> and I also just saw this, a physician's formula, rose kiss all day velvet lip color. Maybe this should go with my pinks, but let's see. No, it looks nude. Yeah, that's more of a matte finish. I really like how that looks. It's nothing unique, <laughs> as you can see, but I wanna get more use out of this. So I think that's it now. Yeah, hopefully. So I hope you like this video and um, this little nude lipstick series. I honestly didn't think I had this many that could be considered nude, so that's why I did a three-part series. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!